Non-US Redditors, what are the greatest conspiracy theories of your country? Belgium has two major ones. In 1934 King Albert I died while rock climbing in the Ardennes. He was a very experienced climber and this was an easy climb. There were no witnesses, his body was found quite far from the rocks, and some other things led to a series of theories. The most common is that he was killed by French spies because he was a strong supporter of the Belgium neutrality and didn't want to side with anyone. The second one is something called a rose balloting which translates to the pink ballets. These were rumored to have been wild drugs and orgy parties for all the rich and famous including politicians in Belgium. They were rumored to have ties with underage prostitution, drugs trafficking and even kidnapping. Because of all the powerful and high placed members of these parties it was all covered up. The second one is currently coming to light in the UK. All the way from police officers to MPs in the UK could be involved and mainstream media have been picking it up for a while. The royal family killed Diana, or that somebody was actually after Dodi Alfred and they chose at moments to assassinate him so that the focus would be on Diana instead. I like that second one. Mexico. Original Chupacabras attacks were faked by our governor in an attempt to distract people attention of the 94 post NAFTA devaluation. I had not heard this before and it is now my favorite. Oh no. People aren't liking NAFTA related changes. Hum. Let's distract them with a monster that sucks blood from goats. Brilliant. Zambia. So far we've had about 3 presidents die while in office and we recently swore in a new president. Belief in witchcraft is a total thing here so the new conspiracy theory going around is that the state house is cursed and any president that lives there will die during their term. UK. Gareth Williams MI6 agent died after climbing into a suitcase and zipping the case up and then locking it from the outside. No murder here says UK government. Really now? Magic trick gone wrong or some really shady crap is going on. You decide. In October 1992 an airplane crashed into a flat in Amsterdam. A day later, 20 men in white suits were seen at the crash site, who didn't speak Dutch and took evidence. According to a conspiracy theory, these were Mossad agents and they were the cause of the subsequent health issues in the area. The UK government has been hiding a lot of high profile pedophiles for a very long time. I'm not really sure you can call this a conspiracy when both the US and Russian government say that it is true and that members of the government, people working for the BBC and others in high positions are all involved. This doesn't even quality as conspiracy, everybody knows it, foreign agencies tipped off out government many times and they were like mmmmm right we'll definitely get on that but nothing ever happened. Jimmy Savile was hugely involved with royalty and the Knights of Malta, google it, and so was Prince Andrew. We surrendered so quickly in World War II because we already knew about the invasion and had a deal with Germany to only offer a token resistance. But the reason we made this deal was because the son of our foreign minister had been arrested in Germany on charges of homosexuality, and was used as a pawn by Himmler in the negotiations. Denmark BTW. To be fair, I'm not sure fighting them would have done much good. I'm Australian. In the 60s, our prime minister went out swimming and disappeared, never seen again. There are conspiracy theories that he was captured by a Chinese submarine despite the fact that he was a 60 year old guy with a fainting habit, a morphine prescription, and a shoulder injury. They named a swimming center after him. The foolish part of this is believing the country's leader went swimming with no supervision, especially with his medical disposition. While the submarine story seems a bit fantastical I do believe foul play is likely in this scenario. Everyone knows that Carlos Slim became the richest man in the world because President Carlos Salinas sold him a state monopoly in telecom. Telmex. And he has retained that monopoly until now. Companies like AT&T and Sprint would eat Slim's empire alive, but the Mexican gov has protected his monopoly. The conspiracy part is that many say that the real owner is President Carlos Salinas. Also worth noting that Carlos Slim's empire stretches north. Most prepaid MVNOs in America are owned operated by Trackphone, owned by Slim. The biggest one in Canada is probably regarding the Avro Aero. Canada isn't really big on conspiracy theories, not a very paranoid nation, but when it comes to the Avro Arrow, 
Everyone agrees that there was a conspiracy to cancel the project because of influence from other defense companies like Lockheed who didn't want to lose their defense contracts to Canada, given that the Avro Arrow was years ahead in terms of technology. My boyfriend works in aviation and over time a news story comes up about the govt buying new fighter jets he goes on a rampage about the Avro Arrow. It also had a significant impact on the aviation industry as a whole in Canada. Aviation could have been a huge modern day job source if the Arrow project hadn't been scrapped. Zimbabwe. I'm not sure if it counts as a conspiracy theory if everyone but the ruling party believe it to be true, but since independence there have been a string of assassinations by vehicular accident, starting with ZANU PF comrade Josiah Tongogara, Mugabe's biggest threat to his presidency, through various lesser threats in the 80s and 90s to Susan Svangere, wife of opposition leader Morgan Svangere in 2009 and more since. I remember hearing jokes about which political threat was going to have a head-on with an army truck by the late 80s. No one is claiming the roads are safe, there are too many vehicles with no lights, buses with chassis so bent they take a lane and a half and will overtake you at 160 km per hour and god knows how many missing road markings signs, potholes and animals. But still the circumstances around these deaths have been far too suspicious. That our president might have sexual attractions towards men. I'm Russian BTW. UK. David Icke posited the theory that the royal family are actually a consortium of shape-shifting lizards. It's hilarious enough that I wish it were true. That sure is ridiculous. Fellow human. Ha ha ha. What a good day to be warm-blooded. I have no idea how common it is. And I highly doubt it was that common at all, but I dated a girl from Romania who didn't think the moon was real. We were looking up at the sky when she turned to me and said you know, we're just looking at a reflection. I asked her what she meant by that. She said how everyone knew the moon was nothing more than reflected light bouncing off the earth and projected on the sky. Now, I'm not one to jump and tell folks that they're wrong, but I was young. I just couldn't let this one stand. I explained my problems with this theory. Finally, in frustration I asked her how did she explain the moon landings. Those people faked it, she said. What people? You know she looked around nervously. The Jews. The rational part of my brain said that she was just a messed up woman, repeating what a crazy, and, frankly, racist, relative told her. The romantic part of me wants to believe that people in Romania don't believe in the moon, because there's something beautiful about something so ridiculous. Romanians. Please, when you pop this bubble of my belief, do it gently. LOL I'm from Romania and honestly I have never heard of this. Two major conspiracy theories here in Spain, about the 11M, Islamic attack and the Metro of Madrid. Little background, our government first says the attack have been made by ETA, and separatist terrorist group. Few day later this shows to be a lie only one or two days before the elections for president. So it makes a big change in the voting. Lots of people still believe that it was ETA. They were fueled by years by some of the popular and serious newspapers in here. Some people even think the other party, who wins the elections after that, have planned it all. About the 23F. Background. 23F of 1981. After 5 years of democracy, a general of the Guardia Civil, some kind of militarist police, rush into the parliament and takes our government and politicians as hostages. Other squad takes the TV central. Within the next hours some of the still fascist generals of the army seem to give support to the coup. Our king give a speech declaring he is against it. Finally the majority of the army was loyal to the democracy and the coup fails. Okay, the thing in here is that we have the records of the phone calls that were made from the parliament. Tejero, the guy who led the Russian there, talk with some generals for hours. He asked when will the white elephant comes. So, who is the white elephant? Still unknown, but for some people, it was our king. That was supporting the coup but viewing the lack of army support changes his allegiance. Other says that he has planned it all from the start as a way to gain the people's support. I find the 23F example very interesting. Thanks for sharing. Estonian here. A cruise ship Ms. Estonia. 
sank in the Baltic Sea in 1994, in one of the worst maritime disasters of the 20th century and there's a load of conspiracy theories about it, like, a magazine claiming that laboratory tests on debris recovered illegally from Estonia's bow yielded trace evidence of a deliberate explosion, which they allege was concealed by the Swedish, British, and Russian governments to cover up an intelligence operation smuggling military hardware via the ship. Also, in the autumn of 2004, a former Swedish customs officer claimed on Sverige's television that Estonia had been used to transport military equipment in September 1994. From Ireland here and the only thing I can think of which is possibly a conspiracy theory is the ABC's, Alien Big Cats. A couple of years ago, there was whispers going around the country of sightings of pumas and other such large felines prowling the countryside and messing with the farmer's sheep. It was a big thing at the time and the mystery was never solved. Argentina, Nisman death. Nisman accused the president Christina Kirchner of covering evidence of one terrorist attack to Amia, Jews Association. The day he was going to present the evidence of his claims was found a dead in a bathroom. The government says it was a suicide. People think that government kill him. Bielefeld Verschwörung. According to this theory, the German city of Bielefeld does not exist. Anyone who claims to have been there, have relatives living there, or even seen a football match with Arminia Bielefeld playing, is one of them. However, there is a second layer on tinfoil there, as I've heard of a second theory, claiming the Bielefeld Verschwörung is hoax created by them, to make the population of Germany believe there is nothing in Bielefeld. In reality, Bielefeld is supposed to be a top secret facility where they are doing some weird stuff evil organizations usually do in conspiracy theories. The Bielefeld conspiracy isn't a conspiracy at all, it's a joke about conspiracies. People pretend Bielefeld does not exist, as a German, because it doesn't, as a joke. Last summer the Chinese government suddenly announced strict air and rail traffic control between almost every major airport between Beijing and Shanghai in the name of military exercises. The original announcement was very abrupt and the wording of it was fishy as heck because it did not mention the military at all, but high frequency exercises by other users. The massive flight delays were expected to last for 26 days. People speculated that a high-ranking general was trying to escape corruption investigation and subsequent arrest by cross-dressing as an old woman in order to escape overseas. Rumor said he was caught in the customs queue and the government tightened traffic control in order to catch any of his buddies trying to escape. My mother and I were about to fly to Shanghai from our hometown to Shanghai for a conference when this announcement was made just one day before our flight. We were actually quite concerned because on the day of the announcement, many flights and train rides were not delayed but straight up cancelled with no explanation at all. Then we went to the airport the next day and everything seemed normal as if no such announcements were made at all. Our flight actually arrived in Shanghai on time when delays up to an hour is actually the norm for domestic air travels in China. The mythical exercise by other users never really happened and the possible 26 days delay was quickly forgotten by everyone within 2 days. We had a series of bombs exploding in the 80s in Luxembourg. The wildest conspiracy theory ranges from, as they never found out the guilty ones, USA military to some prince, to some cops having done it, to Russians and worse. It's been almost 30 years and they're still holding courts to try and press for answers. Not as much conspiracy as shaded in mystery, my country, Trinidad and Tobago, used to have a kill squad of policemen, who went out every night and killed as many criminals as they could. It worked and crime went down. If you'd like to google it, type in Trinidad and Tobago flying squad. Didn't Brazil once have death squads killing homeless people to clean up the streets? In Brazil, many people believe that the international organizations that support indigenous and environmental protection are just a cover up to take control of the Amazon. Argentina, the intel agency suffered unwanted changes from the Kirchner government what caused them to murder Nisman, in order to set chaos and blame the president for it, who was involved in an investigation Nisman was doing that incriminated her and other members on the AMIA terrorist attack. This is what I think happened. The problem with this theory is that I think, the side agents would have been smarter and plant some evidence or at least not make it look like a suicide. Recent history, 
Some people in Russia believe that the MH17 was in fact the other Malaysian Airlines aircraft, the one that was never found in the Indian Ocean. The theory is that the first missing plane had been taken to a US airbase and then stuffed with dead bodies and shot down over Ukraine on purpose, to accuse Russia and start WWIII. This is my favorite because it is insane, and just links random stuff together. I love conspiracies. 1. North Korea were kidnapping Japanese citizen. Long denied by left, turned out to be true. Also, Japanese internal security knew it but the government decided not to reveal it because there was frick all they could do. 2. Emperor Komori was assassinated so Emperor Meiji, who were more politically attuned to the rebel could take over. We do have several emperors who conveniently died at very opportune moment. 3. Long ruling Liberal Democratic Party as was secretly financed by CIA. Turned out to be true. 4. Who shot first in Marco Polo Bridge incident? Pakistan. That our country was basically created to save the landed elite from land reforms that free India was going to go through after 1947. Britain. Jack the Ripper was actually working for the royal family. Information on this theory is unavailable under national security so they say. To add, to anyone who hasn't read from Huck by Alan Moore, it is a really interesting take on this theory. Jug Hyder, a right-winged nationalist politician, died in a car crash while drunk driving. Some believe the Mossad killed him. Stephen Harper is systematically cutting funding to climate scientists in order to shut them up about climate change and foster greater development in the Alberta tar sands. And then there's the whole thing about him closing down fishing archives. Mexico. 21 years ago there was a JFK-like murder of a presidential candidate who was supposed to really change the country. His name was Luis Donaldo Colosio. Not from Israel, but I know there is a conspiracy of JFK proportion over the assassination of Prime Minister Yitzhak Rabin. Not a conspiracy theory, but 1989 Tiananmen Square's protester who squared off against a tank. Tankman. Yay he was drunk off his tea. Phone number 4 Beijing Sandlot from Apple Store. 6. 4. 1989. 00. There is this one guy on Reddit that poses as a harmless Redditor and asks other people what their country's conspiracy theories are. But the truth is that this guy is a CIA agent that secretly interrogates people to find out whether their countries are onto the USA's activities in their country. That during the American Revolution. Anyone who didn't want to betray England or be involved with a war fled to Canada for some peace. That during the American Civil War all the pacifists and people who didn't want to choose sides fled to Canada to avoid conflict. Anyone who was coming over to North America from Europe during the American Revolution or the Civil War didn't want to arrive in a war zone so they instead went to Canada. Which is why the majority of Canadians are so nice. Those aren't really conspiracies. There's tons of history regarding the loyalists settling Canada during and after the Revolutionary War. There's also the Vietnam War, when men a draft dodgers came to Canada to avoid going to war. Canadian here. During federal elections of 2011 there were thousands of people who got phone calls from robots saying that their polling station had been changed the morning of the vote. But the stations hadn't been changed and this led to mass confusion and tens of thousands of people were unable to vote. In many areas, the Conservative Party only won by fewer than 1,000 votes. Many people believe Stephen Harper's crew created the robot so that he would win the election. That a ton of high-level officials, celebrities, and other untouchables are part of some crazy child sex ring. That rape and murder kids. Crazy stuff, right, UK? Venezuelan here. Everything here is a conspiracy. President says everybody wants to kill him. CIA. Opposition. The old woman who sells ice cream. Government says that we do not have products because an economic war incited by the US. Colombia wants to freak us up. Heck. I think that if a dog dies it's opposition's fault or US fault. The CIA was involved in the toppling of one of the most popular prime ministers we've ever had in Gough Whitlam. Apparently, enacting universal health care, free tertiary education, establishing relations with China, and a myriad of other positive progressive policies threatened the status quo too much. 
Canada. That Prime Minister, insert current conservative PM here regardless of year, is an American crony in the pocket of the Americans wants Canada to join the USA. Interestingly, there is probably some truth to it. I'm from the US, but I need to share with someone because I've not had such a difficult time smiling through a tin foil conversation in a long time. I work in a paint store. I sell paints, primers, tools, all sorts of things. Yesterday a woman came in looking for some dust masks to protect her from chemtrails because she wanted to work outside, and they're what is making everyone sick. She then told me she had too much barium and aluminum in her body, and that why she had a cough. They're spraying really heavily now, apparently, because they are being taken to court. She then paid me with a $20 bill, and accepted a thermoprinted receipt without even a glimmer of discomfort. A few points of interest here, we live between two small airports used primarily by very small, very isolated communities to commute to the city because it's actually cheaper and safer than driving the very dangerous back roads to and from those towns. I remember a ballot measure that passed a few years ago for aerial hydra seeding in our area, as we are a high fire risk location that maintains reservoirs and is prone to erosion and mudslides. Also, have you ever accepted a damp? Sweaty $20 bill in the middle of summer? I have, and I'm sure nobody washed it as it was passed along. I think I read something about a report coming out regarding thermoprinted receipt paper releasing BPA when introduced to alcohol-based compounds, like hand sanitizer and lotion. And this chick is worried about frozen carbon monoxide exhaust trails. I didn't even bat an eyelash. I didn't argue. And I hid under my desk for about 5 minutes after she left trying to cope. My boss joined me, FML I'm moving to Jupiter. Australia, the CIA deposed the Whitlam government in 1973 in what was a bloodless coup led by Governor General John Kerr and Liberal, that's conservative few foreigners, party leader Malcolm Fraser at their bidding, crazy crap. Don't know how true it all is but there are a lot of documentaries and articles out there for anyone curious. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. for now.